Then the other thing, by the way, hey, hey, hey. This one, this one was like for me when I was in college. I know, sisi kama wa Kenya, sisi ujituma, by the way. Even if you are English, is shagarabagara. <laughs> Hi guys, I know it's been long and uh, it's long since we had like a sit down talk but today I'm back and uh, guys I know um, our today's topic I feel like it's kind of interesting to me because I like when I'm talking about something which I've faced or something which I've experienced and I know being in college, being in the university sometimes it isn't always a walk in the park this being the case it comes to a point where you are you are trying to think hard what can you do and bearing in mind uh, most of the time or when you, you find this kind of a person who wants to hustle while in college high chances are they do not they do not have that capital that huge capital that you would say but uh so guys i'm in here to help you i know you're struggling there in campus but i'm here to help you and give you some ideas which you can actually try and i personally i have tried them and they did work for me back in college and so let's get into it so i believe the number one uh side hustle that you can try is on the clothing um business and when i talk about the clothing business it doesn't mean that you should be having like your pesa mingi no imagine going to the mutush business and all you need to know is like uh, where you are what are people in your college going for for example try to think or try to understand what is this what is the styling form that the college girls are putting on and then most of the time you'll find this is them tush them tush side and so try to try to understand the style that they have and then from there after wholesalers go to the comba early in the morning by the way rauka mapema kabisa and then select those those kind of you know those was um, music on a test depending with the college student because of course the college students are going to a test yeah you know so select those ones and uh, when you go to buy them don't just go to one vendor try to try usienda kwa vendor moja and then you just conclude it's time to buy now try to compare the prices those school me gongwa then when you come back with them maybe you can wash them iron them and then they are they look well you know and then you can sell them then the number two thing that you can do it is what i'm doing imagine while you're in college you have a lot of time actually i try to think why didn't i think about content creation back in college because i believe i would have covered a wide range of so many things that i was doing back then and so because you have plenty of timer you can do content creation by the way and sometimes you do not imagine if you're watching this video i believe high chances are you have a smartphone all right and so you can make use of your smartphone and start content creation you have a lot that you can share and with the time by the time you are leaving your college or within the first few few months you will be starting to earn something is that what a hassle it is then along with content creation something else that i think it works very well it's maybe you can buy a camera and start uh taking some professional pictures because you'll find most of the time um people in college love pictures people are very busy on the social media and posting pictures people on special events like the graduation of course graduation it's a very it's a very unique event by the way and you you want to make it memorable and how do you make make it memorable it's by you taking pictures with your classmates and you know with your friends and through this you make memories so you having a camera this one is a hassle you can still be getting something out of it the other thing it's the printing business hey mas i know nazo shangi assignments they are always there some of the lectures they will say they don't want the handwritten ones they should be typed and when you go maybe to something like the projects they have some particular f formality like they'll tell you like maybe they want the citation like the apas and whatever and sometimes you find most of the students they are not familiar with these things but Try to think this you have your printing business and then you you equip yourself with these small small skills like uh, formatting and uh you know the citing method like the apa and the mla and when people are doing their projects you can always charge them by helping them to do that hmm? do you see 
it's a nice business too and this one you will be getting a daily coin day in day out because assignment as you go sangi calling after all you went kusoma right yeah i was thinking about the cosmetic business also people in college they are more into makeup they are more into everyone wants to look nice by the way you know when you are young you want to look nice and you are so much aware um into yourself right so you can be bringing uh, your fellow students some cosmetics some makeup and maybe uh you can also be doing some if you're a makeup artist by the way mm -hmm. you can be doing some training or maybe in some special events like the graduation or photo shoot you could be doing people some makeup and then you charge them just a little fee because you know college student they, they might not be having much money but wakona pesa bado pesa iko yeah then the other thing by the way hey 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 this one this one was like for me when i was in college you can do a little training on freelancing by the way and when i talk about freelancing it is too broad but maybe you can do your own research on um, whatever freelancing field that you are comfortable in but in my case i believe in article writing and academic writing i try to think um about it this way imagine you are in college and uh, every time you have to do your assignments uh essays and everything so what is it different about academic writing what is it much different with article writing i believe that they only require some ritual requirements of course you will need to do the training and then also you might be needing to do a little they might require you to be having like a good command good command in english oh yeah good command in english and uh, i know this is kama wa kenya sisi ujituma by the way even if you are english is shagarabagara <laughs> you can still kujituma right yeah you can still kujituma and see what you can do but it isn't complicated i hustled with this for years and it it's dope yeah so you can try to research on the same and then you see which one works for you the other thing i was thinking about i thought of the um, juices and the coffee business i'm trying to think when the weather when the weather is hot you you could be pre preparing some juices and uh, you know juices you only need some natural fruits and uh, you you need your blender and then so when it is sunny when when the weather is like um the weather it's hot it's warm you could be doing some juices and maybe something else like the ice creams right and when maybe during the evening or when it's getting cold during the cold or the rainy season you could be doing something like coffee and when you do something like coffee make sure kuna kitu ya kupelekana like you could be doing things like kdf or some snack and then i believe it will go so well and you know when you look at coffee like a small like a small kaka, i don't know how we, the disposable one like a small one it's very cheap and you know what usually happen you'll find if i'm with my friends there and then i've bought one cup i want to drink alone you know i won't drink alone and for a college student she isn't much spending like 50 bob i can decide to buy for my friend and uh, my other friend and everything works well so this one also it's a uh, it's a nice business and you can also try to see which other snack can go along with these two drinks whether the juices or the coffee and then it goes together right then the, the other one is the nail polishing but my nails aren't kept by the way but nail polishing is a nice one by the way and you can be mobile moving from one hostel to another and um as we have said with the cosmetic world you know the students in there they, they are more they are, they are more self aware with their looks and everything and uh having a nail, a nail polish business it's so nice by the way you could be moving from one hostel to another and it might work uh, so well for you because i believe the college students uh, most of the time they, they will go with inference oh my friend also have good kids nails so why did you do them blah blah blah, blah. and then you also get a lot of referrals and it can work very well for you and finally guys i was thinking about something else huh? and this this reminds me back back in the days uh, because i remember most of most of the time after my classes and it was lunch time most of the time i found myself doing chapo my eye <laughs> all chapo smoking 
and uh i believe i wasn't the only one who was who was you know that meal was my favorite and i believe maybe if you are watching me you also love it you know i don't know what happens with this food the chapo mayai and chapo smoky it's always like it's always yummy and trying try to th trying to think it um in a business perspective it can bring you some amount of money you know because uh, you know these are students the fact is they have come to school and the fact is they must eat you know and uh, this one can work very well because around um the school area there are a lot of students you know and they will be always uh, be coming for this and i believe this kind of businesses by the way like for the smoky one doesn't require a lot of capital it requires very uh, little so trying to look at all these businesses that i have listed from the clothing cosmetic and by the way also you can also try the the hair business by the way if you know how to braid hair this one can go so well with you by the way and you do not need to have like a physical shop you will do it in a school in the hostels move from one hostel to another or fr from one room to another and you'll be getting your own pocket money and it becomes a side hustle and who knows maybe even after school to become a big business so i hope this video was of much 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 help to you and i believe you guys you can try this and if you've got any question on the video please leave it on the comment section and um i will get back to you and by the way guys i'm so happy for you for your great support by the way because we are already past 1000 subscribers though it happened long time ago but i didn't remember to announce this i'm so much grateful for this so thank you guys for watching this video and please don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel and leave a comment bye bye